What do you want me to do here? There's no way to push past here. August 6th, 1944. I stopped having fun a while ago. <sighs> Something's gone horribly wrong. Hey everyone, Peter Steele here, back with another video. And today we're trying another disaster save. This one was sent in by Yannick Wolski. <sighs> Hello, Peter Steele. I managed to form Austria Hungary for the first time in eight tries, got into the Axis, and ran deep into Russia. But now I'm running out of Austro Hungarian and I got my breakthrough divisions encircled. Oh boy. The Italians are doing Italian things and the Allies are doing an early D-Day. Yeah, I can see things are not going quite well. But before we get into this video, I want to give a quick shout out to this community. You guys have been amazing. The views just keep coming and I want to thank you guys for your massive contribution. So I am giving away, yes, you heard that right, giving away five more copies of No Step Back. All you have to do is go down into the comments below and type I like trains. Just type I like trains and from those comments I will pick five winners who will get a free copy of No Step Back. Make sure you have your Discord account linked to your YouTube account so I can verify it's the right comment and please please check your comments when I reply to you and you don't respond within a month. I'm gonna move on and give it to someone else. So check your replies. Anyway, on to the video. Okay, so manpower is a bit low. You've got a lot of political power. What are your focuses like? You got most of it done. Yeah, I could pick up some bonuses here. Maybe expand the navy if you really want. But I don't think I don't think navy is uh, right for you right now. Yeah, just just leave it on air production. It's it's fine for now. Let's see, Yugoslavia. We need to solve this issue and Greece. We need to solve that as well. I think I found your breakthrough units. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I'm not sure I can get those out, but I will try. So you've got a very small army overall, really. Do you not have cores here? So you've done the reintegrate the empire decision. You, you must have because you have cores on several of these Balkan states, but you, you don't have Bohemia and Carpathian Ruthenia is here as well. So, okay. So just, I, I know this is probably because it's very hard to form properly, but this is like your industrial heartland if you can't get your hands on this is there really a point to continuing the run I'll, I'll leave that out there okay so divisions you've got some in the queue oh you're using my favorites uh 21 infantry yes these are your military police i assume yep and ah you've gone with rocket artillery well 28 combat with works i usually run this 27 combat with i don't think it really matters all that much but i would add support anti-air to these and maybe some support recon, uh, some engineers, you know, just to get movement bonuses. But let's just leave that as it is for now. I might change those later. I think our first priority is going to get our boys out of this encirclement, if we can. So I'm going to let the Germans deal with the Eastern Front. And I'm going to use my army to clean up the mess behind the lines. So solve the problem near Crimea. Hopefully get my boys out. Then solve the Yugoslavian issue if it's still around by the time we clean up that pocket. Then Greece, and when all that is cleaned up, hopefully we'll still have troops left to deal with France. And then we can turn our attention back east and crush the Soviets, assuming they haven't crushed us. Now, for our manpower, let's go up to surface by requirement. Ah, you're still on partial mobilization. In 1942, brother, we have a solution for you. Total mobilization. You've got the war support, so we'll also go up to women in the workforce. Seems like a good deal. And as far as the army goes, I see you're using this guy because, well, he's available, but you don't have armor division, so he is useless except for the daily army XP gain and considering the war we're in, that's pointless. Let's instead take Hindi here. He's level 7, he's got the required levels, and I can make him an infantry expert. And now, with that trait added, I can hire Hindi as an infantry expert. He is much more beneficial to us. What's the other guy doing? Ace generation and division recovery. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Oh, and one more division change. Uh, these are your port guards, 10 width, usually fine, especially if you're running on a budget. But if you want these guys to hold a port, give them an engineer company. This will give them a lot more entrenchment and will actually allow them to hold for a little bit. Looks mostly... Ah, yeah, you're gonna need improved anti-air. So I'm gonna take some away from motorized rocket artillery. We'll just be conservative with those. And the rest of this looks okay. Good amount of casts. I like 
like that. Speaking of Cass, how is our Air Force doing? You're overstacking your airfields. This is bad because it really hurts the effectiveness of your plane. So move your airplanes over to air bases that can actually support the amount of airplanes you've got. And I'm going to concentrate them in Ukraine so I can crush this pocket. Well, it's not pocket, but this bulge in our lines. And we can also modify the officer core, a spirit of the army. Don't need political loyalty. That would be handy for stability, but we're fine. Let's just get the professional officer core. Yeah, give us more army XP gain. All right, let's unpause and see just how terrible this is. But I'm going to do it at a slightly lower speed. Oh, I also noticed you're using CAS for close air support. That's great. But also turn on logistics strike. This decimates the enemy trucks. This is just, it annihilates the enemy logistics. So please, it's so worth it. No, I need to mobilize more men before I can train more troops. So I'll have to make do with what I have for now. Maybe liberate a couple of cores. Okay, with luck, I might be able to get these guys out still. We are getting close. We're getting close. Oh yeah, we might just save these eight trucks. Yeah, oh! <sighs> I managed to get my trucks out. And if things go well, we might actually encircle a good portion of the Soviet army here. Look at that. Okay, so it's not a huge pocket, but it is a heavy blow to the Soviets. So once that's cleaned up, I might push the Sevastopol and just put a couple of infantry units on Kerch just to stop the Soviets from coming in here. And I'll let Germany suffer on the east. I have a lot of cleaning up to do in the west. The trucks are going to do their thing and I'm going to move the infantry. Okay, I'm going to move the infantry here and towards Greece. Hopefully I can use these guys to clean up the mess here and then we'll see from there. I just realized I never checked your construction. So did you just stop building stuff? So you're building a couple of synthetics. That's not a bad idea, but we need more military factories. So just start building mills in your highest development provinces and just keep the production going. Sprinkle in the occasional synthetic because yes, you are going to need them. Mostly for rubber, really. Which brings me to your research. It looks fairly reasonable. Yeah, you've, you've done well regarding your research. You're a little bit behind on the infantry equipment and the artillery, but not that much. This is actually pretty okay. So you're doing experimental rockets. I'm going to assume you're doing this because you've heavily, well heavily, because you've invested in rocket artillery. I can get that. I just don't like using rockets because of all the research it requires while artillery is just very straightforward just straight up artillery and it also requires tungsten so i'll stick with it because you've pretty much committed to it right now but i would never go with motorized rocket artilleries i know katushas are cool but nah your equipment stockpile actually looks pretty decent maybe you can ask for some lend lease maybe germany wants to send us some stuff where are you sending them stop giving your stuff away oh great more naval invasions i love it when you get that sound at Rrrr. <laughs> Yeah, love that. Okay, our infantry is getting in position. I'll hold this line for a little bit until I can redeploy my air. I just want to clean up Crimea first. Okay, so we've taken Crimea. Well, more or less, it's just a matter of moving in for the kill now. I will need to leave some troops behind to hold Kerch. Don't really have all that much. Let's just train a couple more infantry divisions. Oh, more naval landings. This is actually going quite well. Wow, look at that air power. We're slowly contracting the circle here. If we can take the port, they'll all be encircled. Uh, it is mountainous though, so not great to attack into. Greece is also going reasonably well. We'll have that back under our control. Looks like Italy is actually containing and crushing this French naval landing. That's good. Yeah, this hasn't been the most shocking disaster save. I think we can keep this going. Just take control of the continent and then crush the Soviets and this will be saved. I mean, you're going to have a hard time fighting the Axis after this, but it's not going to be impossible as long as we can serve some of our manpower at this point. You've not lost too many men. Germany has. And with their support in the region, we're now also containing this. So, yep, everything's going perfectly fine. And we've got the Allied Expeditionary Force encircled in Brussels, where they are being destroyed piecemeal. I'm also going to improve the quality of your fighters a little. This is almost always worth doing. Just upgrade the engine to the max as far as your army experience or air experience will allow. It will make them much more capable. Ooh! Ooh, 
that is a scary naval invasion. I'm gonna pull these trucks out and reorganize. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the troops off the Eastern Front as well, because this is just complete stalemate. Germany can more or less hold this. And these troops are needed in this area more so than anything else. Just gonna get more of these port cards out. Yes, a lot of these don't have guns or anything, but just trying to get some sort of defense organized. Yeah, I'm gonna seriously commit to stopping whatever this is. Uh, 64 divisions. It's not a lot. Well, it is. It's just less than I would like to spend, but if I can get my army to crush that, we'll have some measure of security. Meanwhile, I'm still building up my equipment stockpiles. I have taken quite some losses cleaning those pockets up. Mountains are a nightmare to fight in. Need more port guards. I need a lot more port guards to, well, save Italy and then probably start garrisoning the uh, French and Dutch coasts. I just don't have the troops to really commit to the east. Counterattack, I know, I know. Battle planning is not the best idea I've ever had. It's just, I don't like microing on, on this kind of front, especially if I don't really have a dedicated micro unit. Though I suppose I could use the trucks for it. Let's just see if the battle plan works. Okay, I've managed to use my trucks to create a small encirclement around Lavre. Crush that and just keep chipping away at this naval landing. It's a lot of Americans and British and just assorted allied troops. We're pushing them back. We're pushing Push them into the sea. Yeah, Le Havre is cleaned up. Oh boy, our cast is not doing well in the air. All right, uh, Cherbourg is taken. We'll, we'll slowly tighten the noose here, but it's gonna be a hard, hard fight. Okay, it's not a huge encirclement, but it will have to do. Keep this going forward now. Just aggressively push while they're weak. Oh yes, another pocket. Look at them go. Oh, he must have inflicted so many casualties on these Americans. Although most of these are British. Still, a lot of casualties. Oh, it's done. We've contained the Allied naval landing. It cost us a lot of men, but I think we've inflicted way more casualties than we uh, that we took. Let's see if we can focus on the Eastern Front now. Oh, Italy, is there anything you can do on your own? And I'm still scrambling to get more infantry divisions deployed so I can actually get my ports guarded and Italy's ports guarded. Just I'm guarding everyone's ports at this point. Well, these are some uh, huh, hefty railways we're building. I'm, I'm just trying to beef up the Eastern Front because most of this is level one railway for some reason none of this ever got built up so i am just trying to get some semblance of a decent supply situation going here so we can start pushing again but mostly i think the russians are defeated we've pushed well past moscow and our trucks are still going austro-hungarian tanks well not tanks trucks are moving in on stalingrad it's almost over for the soviets uh leningrad's soon to go annoyingly we'll have to push past the urals which always sucks and with that, we've cut off the entire Caucasus front, so just collapse that and roll from there. It shouldn't be too long. It's just gonna take another push towards the Stalin, no, sorry, Leningrad, and then it's just an endless march past the Urals to capitulate the Soviets. I hate that part. I could build an intelligence agency, get some spies in there, maybe, we'll see. Oh god, now Russian counterattacks really hurting us. My lines are very thin. I don't have a lot of troops, which is a bit of a problem, like a qu quite a large problem. They've broken through around Astrakhan, so I hope I can crush this pocket before things go sideways. I'm gonna recruit more men, but I, I don't have guns for everyone. I am burning through equipment at an alarming rate. Yeah, your industry is, uh, or our industry <laughs> at this point, isn't really the best, but we'll see what we can do. I wonder where the Soviet army went. Still got a lot of divisions. Not seeing all that many divisions on the front, though. Uh, that looks like a successful naval landing. Eh, I'm gonna bring my trucks back home. This is annoying. The Allies just never give you a break. Now, this is usually the point where your advances into Russia stall. You've pushed past where the railways are and it's just giant nightmare of supply from this point onwards. So just try and focus on attacking along railways, focus on taking supply hubs and just grind them down little by little. The Soviets really don't have that much left. It's just supply is your, your one big enemy at this point. So I'm just trying to take isolated supply hubs that will give my troops the little bit the juice they need to keep going to the next one and just try to use fast units to do it. Something's gone horribly wrong up here. What the hell happened to my front line? Somehow a bunch of divisions got encircled. That's nice. And all of my units are refusing to strategically redeploy. They just they just won't do it. Now, 
They're, they're just refusing to strategically redeploy. What the hell is the frontline AI doing? Where's my army? Where are my troops? Oh boy, a million casualties and I'm running out of men again. Of course, it doesn't help that strategic redeployment is completely broken and my troops are just stuck where they are. What do you want me to do here? There's no way to push past here. I don't think we'll be able to fight the Axis when we're done here. So I'm just going to destroy the Soviets, if we can, and call it a day. Oh, look, 28 units, naval landing. Great. Guess my trucks are coming home again. Well, I've restarted the game. That does exactly nothing. So for some reason... Oh, it's, is it because the railway's damaged or something? I have no idea, but my trucks... None of my units actually will strategically redeploy. Just... Some will, most won't, and it stops after one tile, so I I don't know what to tell you guys, it's just... <sighs> and another naval landing destroying Italy, and it's being very successful because still my strategic redeployment just isn't working properly. I cannot get my troops in position on time. It is really hamstringing me right now, and it's hurting my ability to defend myself and to coordinate my attacks. I'm just gonna let this Russian front grind out. I have lost all interest in conserving manpower or equipment. I'm just gonna grind the Russians down and call it a day. Well, that's another naval invasion contained. Uh, it's a good amount of divisions we'll destroy there. And now my trucks can slowly drive back to the Russian front because they won't... Oh, oh, now they will strategically redeploy. We'll see when they actually arrive, though. It's been super annoying. August 6th, 1944. I stopped having fun a while ago. Uh... What? China just left the Chinese United Front, joined the Allies. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, okay. Well, you stop paying attention for 20 seconds and Italy manages to get itself naval invaded. Of course it does. Really, Italy? Are you that incompetent? Are you such a babbling reet? One hour later. Is there anything you can do other than get yourself invaded? 2% more. Just 2% and this is over. Oh look, they landed more troops. Everything's breaking. My trucks are refusing to move. Nothing is working as intended. I love this game, but sometimes it just becomes unplayable. Okay, so a little maneuver warfare on our part. We've encircled uh, 63, 66, 71, plus another 2, 73 allied divisions in Italy. Wow. Oh, that's a nice hit. Okay, now get my trucks back to the East, I think we've almost got the Soviets at this point. We are past the Urals, mostly, and it's just a couple of victory points left. They're at 99%. Okay, 100%. It's over. Oh my god, it's over. It's over. We got a good peace deal out of this. Uh, Germany got a little bit. We got most of the Russian lands as our puppet, which is very nice. We have mainland Europe secured. It's just a matter of naval invading the UK, which is a nightmare in itself, especially when the USA is also involved. So I'm going to call it here. I want to apologize for the inordinate amount of complaining I've done. I'm going to ask my editor to cut out most of the complaints. It just got real nasty towards the end. It's just supply in Russia. We we all know is terrible. It is forever to capitulate them. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. And if you want to check out any of these DLCs, I've got a Nexus store down below. Check it out. Peace.